and today we're gonna go taste some of the must eats from world famous pork rice and noodle soup to life changing bubble tea. Let's go. So for a classic Taiwanese breakfast, you wanna to come to Soy Milk King. They specialize in traditional breakfast dishes, including variations of the you tiao. You tiaos are deep fried breadsticks, but also known as the Chinese donut. So what I have in front of me right now is the you tiao wrapped in a layer of flatbread or xiaobing, an egg, and a salty soybean soup to go with it. I'm gonna start with the flatbread. It was super crispy. It's basically a carb overdose. I like that the egg is in there because it makes me feel like I'm actually having breakfast. And it comes with this soy paste on the table. So I'm gonna put some on to see how that tastes. The soy paste is kind of sweet, but actually brings out more flavor in the wrap. I can't imagine having it without it now. It's really good. Maybe I'm gonna try some of this salty soy milk now. Mm. So I've had sweet soy milk before. This is my first time ever having savory soy milk. It's actually really good. It tastes a little bit like savory tofu because the milk kind of hardens a little bit. So you get this kind of stewy tofu texture and it softens up the pastry a little bit. So it becomes all the more hearty. I can see why people have these two together. People don't usually dip it, but I think I'm gonna do it anyway. This is definitely my favorite way of having it. This is Ajong. They sell only one thing, rice flour noodles. So as you can see, it's one of the most popular spots in town. So once you make your way through that crowd, you can add as much garlic, vinegar, and chili to your bowl as you like. I've added kind of a bit of everything, so let's see what that tastes like. This is so good. You know the bonito fish flakes that dance around on top of the Japanese takoyaki balls? That's what this soup is made of. It's a bonito fish flake broth, and they probably put so much in there, which is why it's got this really nice and rich, almost creamy texture. And the noodles are super soft and silky and delicate. I mean, I've never had noodles with a spoon before, so that speaks to just how soft they are. And I've added chili, vinegar, and garlic, just a spoonful of each, not to overdo it. But that really brings out the umami flavor in the bonito fish flakes. It's just such a hearty bowl. We're here at yet another busy spot. This is Jin Feng. Its braised pork rice might just be one of the best in town. It's essentially just a bowl of white rice with delicately braised pork on top and winter melon on the side. Let's give it a go. This is delicious. The pork is really rich. You can tell how much time has gone into cooking the pork by just how flavorful it is, which is probably why they give you such a big mound of white rice. The winter melon is there to kind of balance out the, the flavor. It's a little bit pickled, so it's kind of sour, but definitely takes away from just how rich the pork is. This actually reminds me of Hong Xiao Ro, the Shanghainese dish, in the sense that they both kind of share that really juicy and fatty characteristic. The difference is this one's minced up, whereas Hong Xiao Ro comes in bigger pieces. Mmm, delicious. So, this place is a little special. New Baba specializes in braised beef noodle soup. They fly in premium cuts of meat from Australia and the US, which adds to the price tag of their signature presidential noodle soup, a whopping 10,000 Taiwanese dollars. Obviously, there are more affordable options on the menu, but we decided we definitely needed to try the country's most expensive noodles. So, here we go. Oh, look at the size of this meat. Nice, firm, thick noodles. Wow. These noodles are so full of flavor and so silky smooth. When I ordered, they gave me four options of noodles. They vary in thickness, and really it's just made to order, personal preference. But these were the ones they recommended. They're the second thickest ones. What a good choice. Now let's give the beef a try. These are all different cuts of beef. This tastes like a brisket. So incredibly tender. It's got the flavor of the broth just soaked right through. It goes really well with the noodles. If I had to describe this, I'd say it tastes like $10,000. When you come to Taipei, you cannot miss bubble tea. 
This is a sweet drink that comes with either a fruit, coffee, or tea base. This is a Taiwanese staple. Anyway, we're here at Changshui Tang, and it's claimed to have invented bubble tea in Taiwan. I've got their signature bubble pearl milk tea. Let's give it a try. Mm. This is really good. I've had many bubble teas in my life, and a lot of them have been made out of powder. I know that this place makes them with fresh tea leaves, and you can really taste the tea flavor. But it's not that sweet. It's probably one of the best bubble teas I've ever had. Yummy. So this is the Tonghua Night Market, one of many in Taiwan, and these are some of the best places to find some amazing street food. I've heard a lot about this Da Chang Bao Shao Chan, so I'm really excited to have found it here. It's a pretty crazy snack. Basically, it's a glutinous rice sausage cut open and filled with another sausage. Let's give it a go. The sausage is actually pretty sweet. It tastes like a honey sausage. I asked for the garlic one, so it's super garlicky. And the glutinous rice kind of balances everything out because it's just plain rice. But the texture is really nice because it's a little bit like a mochi, nice and sticky. It's gonna take me a while to work this one off, but 10 out of 10 would order again. <laughs> this is probably my favorite dessert in all of Taipei. It's a peanut brittle ice cream spring roll. Essentially, it's all in the name. It's a wrap with peanut brittle and ice cream rolled up into a little burrito. Oh, and you can opt to add coriander into it. I've never tried it from this stall, so I'm pretty excited to see what's up. Mmm. Just the way I like it. So the ice cream in here is taro, pineapple, and peanut butter flavored ice creams. They put three little scoops in there, so you kind of eat your way through the layers. And the peanut brittle adds a really nice crunch to it. And strangely enough, I'm not a big coriander fan, but it kind of adds an extra layer of flavor in there that I didn't really expect. Still my favorite dessert though, and the perfect way to end my day of eating in Taipei.